Hi, I'm Kathy, the art teacher from Art Projects for Kids. I'm happy to say that over the years, my website has helped millions of kids learn how to draw. Today's drawing video is about how to draw a Celtic knot. It's a looped pattern that looks like it has no start or finish when you're done. Let me show you how to draw one. The first thing you need to do is gather your art supplies of drawing paper, pencil, marker, and crayons. For some extra help, you can also download this free matching tutorial from my website. Please note that a square sheet of paper works best for this project. I still recommend that you fold it in half in both directions to get some guidelines. They will really help you make some even and symmetrical shapes. Step number one. It helps to plan the large petal shapes of the knot by making dots first. Place one dot on the fold near the top and one near the bottom. Now, connect the dots by drawing a large curve as shown on the right side. Make a note of how wide the curve needs to be on the left side, add a dot, and then draw the left side of the petal. Step number two. The next petal shape is going to be rotated, kind of like this. Make two dots as shown to help you plan that petal and then connect them with a large curve like I'm doing here. Now you can finish that petal by just drawing the bottom part of it. Step number three. To plan the last petal shape, imagine where it will end on the left and make a dot. And draw a curve to connect that dot to the side. Now finish with the curve on the other side. Step number four. To plan the inside of the knot, start with two dots. Connect the dots with a curve on the right side. And then do the same on the left side. Step number five. Plan the same inside shape for the next petal with two dots. Connect one side with a curve. And then do the same for the other side. Step number six. Start the last petal the same way with dots. Connect the top with a curve. And then do the same for the bottom. You'll see that some of the shared lines are already in place, so you don't have to draw them all. Step number seven. Now is the fun part, removing just some of the lines so the knot becomes a continuous loop. Erase two lines like I'm doing here. Step number eight. And then erase these two lines. And finally erase these two lines. Double check things before you start to trace. Again, a Celtic knot should look like one continuous loop. Step number nine. When your knot is looking good, carefully trace all the lines with a good black marker. Work slowly because this is one drawing where neatness will really make it look its best. When you're done tracing, as always, take an eraser and get rid of any pencil lines that are still showing through. And now, here's a way to get a little fancy with your coloring. Start by coloring with a medium shade of green wherever the loop is underneath and might have a shadow. You need to press really hard right next to the line and then gradually make the color get lighter and lighter as it goes out. You're trying to make a soft gradation. Now you can take your lighter greenish yellow crayon and press really hard over everything. It just so happens that these two colors are a bit transparent and overlap each other really well. And lastly, a background color will really help this drawing stand out. This yellow gold crayon does a great job. And there is a finished Celtic knot drawing. Sometimes it's good to practice drawing kind of more precise things like this too, and they are the perfect place to get creative with your coloring. 
Thank you for drawing with me today, and I hope you've enjoyed this Celtic Knot tutorial video. Please check out my website, Art Projects for Kids, for more step-by-step -step tutorials like how to draw a leprechaun and how to draw a leprechaun's hat. I'll see you next time, and I hope you keep on drawing.